Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going over my PS5 collection again. So, my last video on my PS5 collection, I believe I made that back in December of last year, I believe, and that was about a month after the PS5 had come out, and I had about 13 games back then, I don't remember exactly how many I had, but I think it was about 13. Well, it's been almost a year since the PS5 has launched, and now I have 50 games, um, which is a lot more than I had in my previous video. I have exactly 50 games. I counted it. So I thought now would be a pretty good time to make another video about my PS5 collection. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Now, a bit of word of warning, though. Um, in my last video, I talked about the games in my collection quite a bit. Like I gave them like kind of a mini review, sort of. But because I have so many games now, um, if I were to do that, and go through every single one of my games in my collection, it'd probably be like an hour long video, and I didn't really, I don't really want to make an hour long video, so I'm just going to briefly talk about the games, but probably not go really in depth with them, so just a bit of word of warning, but yeah, anyways, let's get started. So the first game in my collection is Aliens Fireteam Elite, um, which did come out pretty recently. Um, it's basically just a Left 4 Dead Aliens clone, basically. Eh, it's alright. <laughs> I don't really hate it, but I don't really love it either. It's alright. go. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So this, um, I believe I talked about this game last time in my last video. And I said I hadn't really played it very much. Well, I don't think I've really touched it since then. <laughs> There's just been so many other games that I've, I've really liked and I've been really excited for, so... I haven't really gotten to give this game much of another chance, but from what I have played, it's just pretty typical Assassin's Creed stuff. At least pretty typical recent Assassin's Creed affair. A lot like um, Origins and Val... Not um, Valhalla. Um, like Origins and Odyssey and stuff. It's pretty alright. Um, next up is Avengers. I quite like the campaign in this game, but pretty much everything outside the campaign I just found boring and repetitive, so... Pick it up on sale, though, if you want to play the campaign, because I think the campaign's pretty solid, just the, any, everything outside the campaign isn't really all that great. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So, I quite like the campaign in this one. I also quite like zombies. I haven't really been able to get into multiplayer, though. Um, and that's kind of weird. I, I, I love... I used to get into Call of Duty multiplayer all the time. Like, I used to play them a lot. I just can't really get into it anymore, and I just don't really know why. I did play the multiplayer a little bit, and it, it doesn't... I, like, I don't hate it or anything, it's just I can't really get into it. Next up is Can't Drive This. Um, this game is basically like, uh, kind of like Trackmania, if you've ever played that, where basically... It's, it's like a multiplayer Trackmania game, where one player is a driver, the other player is building the track as the other players trying to drive on it at the same time. It's kind of a fun little party game. There's a there's actually a few different modes too. Um, I think it's pretty fun, but I don't really know if it has really enough content to be really worth the price. I mean, it's 30 bucks, but I don't know. I feel like it would have been better if it was like 15 bucks, if that makes any sense. Pick it up on sale because it is pretty fun, but just not really a whole lot of content, honestly. Um, next up is Control Ultimate Edition, and this is a game that I, I really, really love. Um, I had it on PS4, PS4 version's honestly not that great, though, but PS5 version's pretty solid, and yeah, this is a really, really fun game. Looks beautiful, too, like, the graphics are amazing, <laughs> especially with ray tracing turned on. Next up is, oh boy, <laughs> um... This game is the best game of all time. I'm just kidding. No, it's it's really bad. It's it's really terrible. Uh, it's definitely the worst game I own in my PS5 collection. I believe I have a video of it on my channel, actually, where I finished the entire game in 10 minutes. Yeah, it, it, this is basically a 99-cent phone game that they put, o put on a physical PS5 disc and charged, like, 30 bucks for it. So, yeah. Also, one cool bit of trivia. Back of the box... Shows the Switch and the Joy-Cons and stuff. <laughs> Which I found pretty funny. But, yeah, it, it's it's really bad. <laughs> it's, it's really terrible. It's not even really a very easy Platinum, either. The Platinum trophy in this game is incredibly grindy. So, yeah, I, I would not really recommend it. 
Death Loop. Um, it's a game I had a lot of fun with, um, but not really as unique as I was hoping for it to be. It it's a pretty typical open world game outside of the looping mechanic, honestly. And the looping mechanic just didn't really do as much for the game as I, I was really hoping for it to. It is pretty fun. I mean, it's an arcane game, so like level design and gameplay are really great. But it's just not as unique as I was kind of hoping for it to be. So, yeah. It's pretty good, though. I did finish it, and I quite liked it. Death Stranding Director's Cut. So, I love this game. I really, really love this game. I've beaten it twice on PS4 and PC. And I'm working on finishing the PS5 version because I love this game so much. It's not a game for everyone. It is a walking simulator with a lot of cool other bits in there too. But I just find this game... Play, I, I find the gameplay loop in this game just really addicting for some reason. I just I don't even really know why. I just find it really addicting. It's so fun. <laughs> but it's not really for everyone. I know a lot of people don't really find it very fun. Next up is Demon's Souls. Um, so this is... I'm not really into Souls games, honestly, very much, just because they're just so hard. Um, I don't really hate them or anything, I just can't get into them because they're so hard. This one is a bit less hard than other Souls games, so I was actually able to get fairly far into this one. And yeah, I, I quite enjoy this one, but I also do suck at it, so I haven't really been able to finish it. But it is pretty good, I quite like it. Oh, there we go. Next up is Destruction All-Stars. This game was actually free with PS Plus when it first launched, and then it got a physical release a bit later. Um, it, it has really good gameplay, but there's just, like, no content. There's just really nothing to do. The gameplay is good, but because there's, like, no content, it kind of just gets boring after a few hours, honestly. It is pretty fun, though. Just... Uh, the, the fact that they were going to charge $70 for this game is ridiculous, honestly. I paid 20 bucks for this. I think it was 20 bucks when it actually fully launched. And I don't even really know if it's worth 20 to be honest. <laughs> Next up is Devil May Cry 5. Um, I don't really know what to say about this one. Like, it's really good. I liked it. I finished it. I really liked it. That's really all I have to say about it. It's really good. That's really all I have to say about it. Dirt 5, um, it's a solid arcade racer, but it honestly doesn't really do anything all that outstanding or anything, it's just solid, it's nothing really all that bad, but nothing really all that great either, it's okay, it's fine. <laughs> F1 2021, um, I really, really like the F1 games, honestly, they're, they're a lot of fun, and this one's really no exception, um, the story mode in this one's honestly not that great, but it's it's an F1 game, and it plays just pretty much like the previous two F1 games, and the, I think that's a good thing, because I really, really love the previous two F1 games. This is probably the best racing sim that's on PS5 right now, actually, but that's probably because it's one of the only racing sims on PS5 right now. It is pretty good, though. I, I do quite like it. Next up is FIFA 21. Um, I hate Ultimate Team in this game. Like, I, I hate Ultimate Team in pretty much any of the FIFA and EA games in general. But I don't really hate this game gameplay-wise. Like, pretty much every other mode, I don't really hate. Um, but I'm not really a massive soccer fan either, so take that with a grain of salt. I know a lot of massive soccer fans just don't like this game. And to be fair, since I'm not really much of a soccer fan myself, I'm not really gonna... Um, I'm not really gonna say anything else, really. It's... I don't hate it, but a lot of people do hate it, so I don't know. <laughs> Next game is Final Fantasy VII Remake, and this is a pretty pretty dang good game, honestly. I quite like it. Um, over the PS4 version, too, it's, it's nice having this game at 60 FPS. I really hope it does come out on PC at some point, though. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good remake, honestly. I quite like it. Um, I haven't really had the time to finish it, though, but... I've played this game for a bit, and I do really quite like it. I, I think this is a pretty good game. <laughs> Guilty Gear Strive. So this is a pretty dang excellent fighting game, although this physical release is missing like most of the story mode, so hmm, that sucks. But 
um, at least on the disc, like you have, you have to download an update to get most of the story mode, which sucks. But as a like as a fighting game, I think this is a really really great fighting game. It's not really as accessible as something like Dragon Ball Fighter Z. I found Dragon Ball Fighter Z to be like a lot more access that accessible than this game. But it looks this one looks beautiful. Dragon Ball looked beautiful too, actually. But this one looks really beautiful. The artwork, the way they handled animations and everything, is so good. Um, and yeah, it's a it's a pretty dang great fighting game. There's a reason why a lot of people love this game. Next up is Hades, and this is also another game that I, I really, really like. Um, to be fair, I don't really think it, like, reinvents the wheel for, like, a roguelike, because it's just basically a roguelike, and I don't really think it reinvents the wheel or anything, but it's, it's a really dang good roguelike. It just plays really, really, really well, and I think that's why I like it so much. And the art, the, the artwork in this game is also really great. And the story is really great. So yeah, it's just a really great game all around. <laughs> it's really, really fun. Yeah. Next up is Hitman 3. And I actually really do like this game, although I wouldn't really recommend buying it physically because it's missing half the game on the disc. But it's a really, really great game, honestly. I, I, I do really like it. I did finish it, in fact. Um, I, I just really liked it. It's... It's basically just Hitman. If you've played a Hitman game before, it's just Hitman. <laughs> it, it's more of it. And it's pretty fun. I quite liked it. Hot Wheels Unleashed. This one actually just came out yesterday, so I haven't really had a whole lot of time to play it. But I actually really quite like this game. And that's kind of surprising. I was really surprised by this game. I was expecting to hate it. It's a licensed game. And it's a licensed racing game. And oftentimes those are really bad, especially recently. But... This one's actually pretty good. I quite liked it. <laughs> pretty good. Um, but like I said, it did, it did just come out yesterday, so I haven't really played it for a whole lot, but from what I have played, it's pretty good. Next up is Immortals Phoenix Rising, and this is basically Ubisoft Breath of the Wild, and I actually kind of like this more than Breath of the Wild, honestly. Um, I think it's just the combat intrigues me a lot more than Breath of the Wild. I think that's the main factor why I like it more. Um, this is quite a unique game for Ubisoft, honestly, and I, I do quite like it, but it's also made by Ubisoft, so hmm, I don't really know. You should probably, you should buy it pre-owned just so you don't give Ubisoft any money, but you should still play it. It's pretty good. <laughs> Ubisoft isn't a very good company, though. Oh, there we go. Next up is Judgment. Um, which is a spinoff of the Yakuza series, and I haven't played this too much, but I think it's pretty solid, honestly. Um, I'm not really much into the Yakuza series, though, so I haven't really been invested into it very much, but from what I have played, it's pretty solid. I do quite, I do quite like it. Next up is Life is Strange True Colors. Um, I'm actually probably going to work on finishing this game pretty soon, because... I've played, I think, the first two episodes, and I actually quite like this game so far. Um, it's a very, it's it's not really much of a game, more if it just, it's basically just like an interactive movie. And if you don't really like that, then you're not really going to like this game. But I quite like it. I think the story is pretty solid. It's, it's just really well made. I just, I don't know, I quite like it. Probably going to finish it eventually. Next up is Maneater. Um... This is a fun game for like a few hours, but it gets it gets kind of repetitive pretty fast. Um, it's it's a shark PG, and yeah, it definitely lives up to that name. It is an RPG where he plays a shark, but like I said, it just doesn't really have a whole lot of variety, and it just kind of gets boring after a few hours. But it is pretty fun. So, eh. there we go. Next up is Monster Energy Supercross Four. Um, I haven't really enjoyed the Monster Energy Supercross games, honestly, all that much. Um, I do normally enjoy stuff from Milestone, but I haven't really enjoyed this game, honestly, or really any of the other Monster Energy Supercross games, and I've really tried. I do like the MXGP games, but I don't know, I just, I don't really like this one, or really any of the other Monster Energy Supercross games. But I did give it a shot, and eh, yeah, I just don't really like it. NBA 2K21, um, 
It's NBA 2K. I'm sure many people have played it at this point. I think gameplay wise, it's pretty solid, but I just hate the way they monetize this game. Like it's basically a freaking casino, honestly, the way they monetize it. But I mean, the gameplay is solid. I, I do quite like it. It's just, ugh, I hate the microtransactions and stuff. Really, really discourages me from getting the new ones, honestly. Next up is Observer System Redux. Um, this is a very dark kind of cyberpunk game. I played it for a few hours, but I kind of had to stop because it gave me a headache because of all of its flashing images and stuff. But it's a pretty in interesting game. One that I, I, I might come back to it at some point, but it's a little janky, but it's also very interesting and in a lot of ways, pretty, pretty enjoyable. So I don't know. I might come back to it eventually, but it is a pretty interesting game. Next up, we got Oddworld Soulstorm. Um, this is a pretty typical Oddworld game, basically. Um, if you don't really like Oddworld, you're probably not going to really like this game. But I do admit, um, they I do like how they made the controls a bit more responsive than in like the, the older Oddworld games. It's a very weird game, but one that I think is pretty fun. I quite liked it. I quite like it. Next up is Overcooked, All You Can Eat. And this is a game that, it's a game that you basically pretty much have to play with friends. And unfortunately, I haven't really gotten around to playing it with my, many of my friends yet. But I don't know, I've played it a bit in single player. I think it's pretty fun. And I'm sure if you play it with friends, it's really, really fun. I just really haven't gotten around to playing it with friends. So, hmm. Next up is Override 2. Um, yeah, I don't really like this game all that much, to be honest. Um, I mean, like, most of the game is missing from the disc, first of all. But even then, just gameplay-wise, it's... I don't know. It's not really all that fun. I actually like the first game more. Honestly, I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't really like it very much. <laughs> Next up, Planet Coaster. I really like this one. <laughs> um, I don't know what it is about Tycoon games, but these games are really addicting and fun. And yeah, it's made by Frontier, who also made uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, I believe. And I really, really enjoy this game. Not as good as the PC version, but... It's a really, really fun tycoon game. I just really love playing this game. I don't really have anything wrong with it, to be honest. Next up is Poyo Poyo Tetris 2. I also really like this game. Not really a game that utilizes the PS5 in really any way that I can actually think of. Um, like, the PS4 version is basically identical, honestly. But it's Poyo Poyo. It's a really great puzzle game. It's also got Tetris. Also a really great puzzle game. It's a really great game. I quite like it. <laughs> Not, nothing really else to say about it. Next up, Rainbow Six Siege. Um, this is a pretty dang great multiplayer shooter. I don't really think it's as good as it used to, though, but as it used to be. But this is still a pretty great game. I still enjoy playing it from time to time. I quite like it. It's a Ubisoft game, though, so buy it pre-owned. But... <laughs> um, it's a game I do quite like. Next up, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Um, it's a Ratchet and Clank game. It's really solid. I, I think most people who have a PS5 have probably played this game by now. And yeah, I think it's a pretty solid game. I don't really think it's like the best Ratchet and Clank game or anything. It's not my favorite, but I think it is pretty solid. I did quite like it. Next up, Resident Evil 8 uh, Village. And... I, I really, really like this game. This is probably one of my favorite games that have come out this year, actually. I, I really love this game. It's pretty typical Resident Evil game, though, but I, I just really love playing through it. In fact, I, I'm probably going to play through it again sometime. I, I really enjoyed my time with it. It's pretty, pretty dang great. Another, actually, one of my favorite games of this year, Returnal. Uh, I, I also really like this game. It's a roguelike, and unfortunately, I haven't really finished it yet, mainly just because it's so freaking hard. Like, it is really hard, <laughs> but I really love playing it. 
I don't know really why. I think it's just because it's a roguelike, kind of like Hades. It's just so addicting. Just having like, like when you die, you always feel like you need to just do one more run. And it is so fun. It is a lot of fun to play, honestly. <laughs> Next up is Ride 4. This is a pretty solid game, honestly. Um, I've, I've quite liked the ride games, and this one in particular kind of just feels like Gran Turismo with bikes, basically. Or actually, basically, it, I, I know Taurus Trophy exists, but this really does feel like it took a lot of inspiration from like the Gran Turismo series in, in terms of its style and everything and its presentation. Um, I think a lot of the requirements for like the, the career mode, like a lot of the time trial requirements are really strict, but honestly, I do quite like it. I think it's pretty fun. Next up, Sackboy, A Big Adventure. This is a pretty dang solid platformer, honestly. It doesn't really do anything to reinvent the wheel, kind of like Hades. It doesn't really do anything to reinvent the wheel, but it's just a really dang solid and fun platformer. Honestly, I'd just, I'd recommend it. It's pretty good. Next up is Scarlet Nexus. And this one's actually another one of my favorite games of this year. This is a RPG. And normally I actually don't really like RPGs, but this game just, it's got a pretty interesting story. Um, the combat is very interesting. It looks very beautiful. The soundtrack's really good. So I don't know. It actually kind of got me hooked, even though I don't really normally get into RPGs. I'm probably going to finish this. I still haven't finished it, but I, I'm definitely, I'm pretty close to the end of the game. So I'm probably going to finish this eventually, but I really do like this game quite a lot. Ooh. Kind of hard to put this back in with just one hand. And next up, we got Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2. This is honestly a game that quite surprised me. I was not expecting this game to be very good, but it is a pretty solid stealth shooting game, basically. It's it reminds me a lot of Hitman, although it's not as, like, it doesn't give you as much freedom as Hitman does, but it's it's a pretty dang fun game. It's not very long either, though. It's, like, I think it's, like, four hours long, but it's a short but pretty sweet game, honestly. I quite liked it. was not really expecting to like it either. Next up, we got more stuff down here. So, there's Spider-Man Miles Morales. Um, this was like the first PS5 game I beat mainly because it was like the first PS5 game that came out. Um, I quite like the game. I don't really think the story is as good as the original Spider-Man game, but I quite like this game. I enjoyed it enough to platinum it. So yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Oh, uh oh, there we go. <laughs> Next up we have Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and I also quite like this game, honestly. Um, it's kind of a Souls game in a lot of ways. It's also, it's like a Souls game. It's a Metroidvania game in a lot of ways. It's pretty enjoyable. It's, it, it is kind of buggy though, but I enjoyed playing through it. I actually finished it. And yeah, it's, it's a pretty enjoyable game. I really hope Respawn makes more stuff like this, to be honest. Next up is The Pathless. And this is another game that I actually really quite enjoy. Um, it reminds me of Zelda Breath of the Wild in a lot of ways, but it's it's a very, very different kind of game. Um, one that I, I really, really enjoy, honestly. Like, it's kind of hard to describe this game, but I, I really enjoy this game. Like, the movement especially is, is really, really good. Next up, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2. This is a fantastic remake of Pro Skater 1 and 2. I love Pro Skater. Like, I love the series. And this is a great remake of those two games. Small problem, though. It's made by Activision. I didn't mention it when I mentioned uh, Call of Duty Cold War. But, yeah, Activision's horrible. Buy it pre-owned. It's really great, but just buy it pre-owned so that way you don't give Activision any money. <laughs> Next up is Warhammer Chaos Bane. Uh, this is basically Diablo. And... It's a pretty solid Diablo clone, honestly, but it's not really anything too great. Not really anything that bad. It's it's solid, but nothing really mind-blowing or anything. Next up, Watch Dogs Legion. This is a game I really wanted to like because I really, really like Watch Dogs 2, but 
this just feels like Watch Dogs 2, but worse, honestly. I just, I didn't really enjoy this game nearly as much as 2. And also, it's made by Ubisoft, so, <laughs> Yeah, I didn't really like it, eh. Next up is Werewolf the Apocalypse Earthblood. This game is really weird, because it has a lot of bad reviews, and to be honest with you, those bad reviews are, are pretty justified. <laughs> Um, but at the same time, I can't help but kind of appreciate this game in a lot of ways. Because it does do a, a lot of things right, but it also does a lot of things wrong. <laughs> um, it, it, it feels so budgety and really, really janky. But it's also a game that I, I was kind of intrigued with to play it all the way through. It's, it's kind of interesting, honestly. <laughs> it's weird, but I don't completely hate it. But the bad reviews are kind of justified. Next up is WRC 9, and this is a really, really, really fun rally game, honestly. In fact, I actually think I might enjoy this game more than Dirt Rally, to be honest. I, I really quite like this game. It's also pretty much the only rally game you can get on PS5 right now, so... <laughs> but it's a pretty good game, honestly. I quite like it. Next up is Wreckfest, which is basically... Um, it's basically, if you've ever played Flat Out, it's basically a Flat Out game, and it's a pretty solid game. Um, it's like a Destruction Derby game. It, I would say, I mean, I was about to compare it to Destruction All-Stars, but it's basically like the actual realistic version of Destruction All-Stars in a lot of ways. It's also got pretty standard racing and stuff like that, too. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty fun, but I don't know, I, I didn't really find it to be anything too excellent or anything either. And finally, we have Yakuza 7 Like a Dragon. And this is a game that I really do like. Like I said, I haven't really played many of the Yakuza games, but I did play a bit of this one, and I really like it. The story is so charming and fun. And the gameplay, I, I don't really normally like RPGs, but I found the gameplay to be pretty fun. So, yeah. And that is every single one of my PS5 games. That's all 50 of them. So yeah, um, I don't know if I'm ever going to make another video like this again, because this is already about 30 minutes long, but I might, I don't know, sometime in the future, but if you guys really want it. Uh, but yeah, that's all 50 of my PS5 games, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.